Pixie and welcome back to Layers of Fear. This is going to be episode two and we are starting right where we left off and um, I haven't explored the workshop. I am just now walking into the workshop and we're going to stop at this little table and see what this is and there is paint and paint brushes. We're going to leave that open. Uh, dirty mirror, creepy trees outside, okay there seems to be a note in here and let's see if we can get to the note. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done before you go to sleep. All right, now we're gonna have to close um, the drawer because we can't open the other drawers unless we do. Um, let's see if there's anything, paintbrushes. Um, is there anything in here? No. Nothing. How about middle drawer? Mm, guess not. No. Oh, okay, there we go. Just canvases. All right. So I guess these are all the things we've worked on. Space bar. Lost. You deserve it. Finish it. Okay, now that's not creepy at all. Okay, why can't we open... More booze. And more booze. And probably, oh, no. Let's get it right this time. All right. Uh, don't know if that was there before or not, but it's there now. So, what? What is in here? Nothing. What is in here? Nothing. How are we going to paint when we can't touch anything? Yeah, we can't open the. How? Why is there stuff we can't open in our own house? Okay, let's get what right this time. Alrighty, now we can't go back in our own workshop. Perfect. And now there's books on the floor. Why are our books on the floor? Okay. Are the pictures changing too? Alright, first let's 
open these back up again. Can I turn on the lights? All right, that's better. Um. Reconnect with your partner, rebuild your relationship, rediscover the joy of marriage, rekindle the flame. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the, fa face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect, and you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a rela relationship. This does not make them any less special. It just takes some work. And we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it at your own pace. Whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities, where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And remember, it's never too late. Okay. All right, we're going to leave that open to know we looked in it. Just out of reach. Oh, my God. Give me a heart attack. Okay, so let's go back here. Okay, that must have been her playing the piano. Going in circles. And yeah, that's what it feels like. Dear Sir and Madam, we must kindly, albeit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Your marital problems, while regrettable, are a private matter and should remain that way. You are creating, or you are certainly of no concern to us and especially our children. Please consider that not everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. We need our sleep. We must also warn you that if things continue the way they are now, we'll be forced to call the police. Sincerely, your very tired neighbors. Okay. Oh God, I thought that was somebody sitting in that chair. And of course we can't go back. That still looks like arms. And paint brushes. Okay, can't read any of those notes. Um, but we can. I thought we could look at that. Oh, we can. I just gotta hit it right. There we go. Save the date. Request the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on Saturday, the 9th of June at St. Luke's Chapel at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Alright. Go ahead and leave that one open. I don't. I don't think there's three doors. No, there's just two. Um, all right, I don't. Oh, that 
that's just weird. Eight, five, four. Look at that little baby. And I was just doing it because there was no light in here. To try to help me find. That whispering is creeping me out. Okay. And we already did. We must not have opened this because it's not still open. Is there anything in here? Nope. Did I miss anything over here? Oh, we push open. You've been snooping around my workshop again. For the last time, you are not allowed in that room. Even if the door happens to be open, I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time, you'll have to look for a new job. Okay. Um. Back up. Anything in there? Nope, but we want, don't want to leave. Okay. Just want to. Is that chair rocking? That chair was rocking. Alright, we're just going to ignore the fact that I heard it and just didn't see it. And we're going to go ahead and come into here. And that's a different hall. Alright, let's see what we can find. We can move the globe. Probably for a reason. Dominoes. Ah, creepy. I have to close that because we have to open the next one. A lot of dominoes in this game. Need the third drawer. Second. I think there's a third one. Alright, where's the third one? Go. Or can you the third does the third one open? Oh, okay. It's just two drawers. I guess. The second and the third one is just one drawer. All right. Oh my goodness. No. Oh my God. Okay, just breathe. All right, calm yourself, you're in the basement. Okay. Remember that, that was...
a new letter. My love, even though you have not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. I have never been a deeply religious person. I guess what other people look for in a sermon I found in perfecting my art. But now I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now I'm playing sold out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again, finally a doctor once told me I would never be able to have children of my own and yet here you are within me. I am quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. Okay. Oh my God. Hello, old ugly woman. Let's look around here. Dust mice, even in my lungs. Grotesque vermin dirt. There is always more grotesque vermin dirt. Okay. Well, I don't know what in the world, but they definitely got some kind of mice and rat something problem. Alright, we got to... I thought I went down to the basement, but I didn't go in here. Okay, let's go back upstairs. Oh my gosh, big rat problem. Um, yeah, that ain't happening. Why can't I pull it? Oh, I had to pull it the wrong different way. Hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh. There's that old lady again. How do I close this? Is there something? Or just leave it open? Oh. Hmm. Don't know who you are, lady, but I don't like you. All right, we are back in here. Did these pictures change or I haven't seen this. No, this is the hall that changed. Oh my gosh. Paint deep lies. Okay. 
cat rat just take and catch itself on fire? I think my character was a pervert. I don't know. They stop at nothing. Uh, screeching arsonists, echoing screams. They stop at nothing. I won't go down so easy. Wonderful. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> oh shit. <sighs> oh my god. A person made out of books. Bear. Okay. There's a trunk under there, but I can't get to it. Oh, what happened to that picture? Oh my goodness. Now there's all kinds of stuff laying around. Alright, let's leave this room. <sighs> that was just creepy. Alright, the door's not gonna close? Hmm. No note this time out there. Hey, in regards to your previous letter, I'm sure it's nothing to be to be too concerned about. Women tend to get weird after having a baby, hormone imbalances and the like. When when we had our first, I remember Valerie got the blues real bad. I asked her what she wanted for lunch and she just burst into tears. Just be there for her and I'm sure it's going to be fine. Now, I know I promised not to rush you and by all means enjoy your well-deserved time off. But just let, to let you know, I'm getting phone calls up the yin yang, commissions left and right. You're a hot talk, hot ticket, my friend. Maybe we should strike the iron while it's hot. But, but of course, the family comes first. Your friend and agent, Thomas Car Caldwell. Uh, I hope I didn't miss anything. Oh. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Because uh, I don't know how to get back to the workshop. And I'm not really sure how to go anywhere from here. So, I don't know what's coming next. Hopefully, it's nothing that's going to give me a heart attack. Which I'm bound to have one before this game is over. I don't know why I play scary games. Um, 
So hopefully you enjoyed this game so far. I'm really liking it. I tend to try to figure things out before um, they end. So sorry for my rattling because I'm trying to figure things out. I don't know why I do it. But I hope you've enjoyed the game so far. And um, please don't forget to... Um, like, share, and comment. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Again, my name is It's Me Gixie, and until next time, happy gaming.